baby. How are you doing? You good? I'm not fine. Why? Baby, why did you stop taking my calls? Hey, come on. That wasn't intentional. As a matter of fact, my day has been very, very, very busy. Like, filled up with a lot of things. I had a lot of files to treat on my desk in the office and uh, I was so tired, okay? Come on, baby, you shouldn't work for in that, all right? I was only scared. I thought you forgot about me and everything that has to do with me. Oh, come on. Honey, listen, even if I forget the world, I will never forget my baby, okay? All right. I promise you guys, I will make up for this this time around. Are you sure? That's a promise, baby. That's a promise. And I love you. And I love you too. Oh, that's my boy. I'll be expecting more for last for me. I got it, okay? No problem. So, why don't you go in there and prepare something special for both of us? Hmm? Mm. You know I will do everything for you, baby. That's my baby. Mm. I love you. I love you too. Mm, I love you so much. Love you one time. <laughs> Two time. Do it time. Four time. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> You're so special to me, baby. I know. Mm. <laughs> right back. Beginning to become a tongue in my flesh. How you doing? I'm doing great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you look beautiful. Thank you. Come yeah. on, eh. that's my girl. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> wow. Guess what? What? I was about stepping out when you came in. So. Uh, so. I suggest we both go out together. Have fun. Wait, really, but I just got here. I know. I promise I'll make you comfortable. Okay. Shall we? How about I wait for you? Oh, come on, baby. There'll be no need for that. You know why? Because you're going to be lonely. All right? Yeah. Or rather, I'm going to be lonely. I want you by my side. I need you by my side. We have to do a lot together while we're driving. Show you to the <laughs> world. Lay you down. Okay, let baby. everyone see you. I got a beautiful girl. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Emily has to go. I don't want to get myself involved in any police case. Neither do I want to get myself involved in any problem. So she has to go. Calm down, Empress. Matters like this are meant to be handled carefully. Moreover, where do you want Emily to go to? Anywhere. Let her just leave. Yes. I single-handedly adjure the vote of it to let her stay because of her condition. Now she is perfectly fine. Let her leave. Emily, leave. Go. Stop it. Stop it, okay? She has caused us more harm and pain since she came. And at the end of the day, I was stand as the victim. So let her leave. How is the man doing? Oh, he should be fine. The doctor gave him the attention he needed. His mother was called to go to the hospital. Who is this man? Like, which man will summon the courage to come in public and beat up a woman? Is he insane or something? Is something wrong with him? He's Dave. My husband. 
Was that your husband? Yes. If I had known that he is your husband, I would have crippled him. Can you imagine? Why would he lay his hands on you today? He's supposed to be settling this issue amicably and not with violence. He's indeed a shameless man. I don't know what to do anymore. Dave has turned my life upside down. I don't know what more he wants from me. Wait. Can I ask you a question? I, are you owing him? I don't understand. Are you in possession of any of his properties or money and couldn't pay back? No. So what about your parents? My late parents never owed him. As a matter of fact, they, they don't even know him. Oh, oh, so he's been heartless to you because your parents are gone and nobody to speak on your behalf? That's so inhuman of him. Babe, you need to bring out the poorest in you. You need to be strong. You need to have a great opposition to claim your freedom. I mean, you were his wife and not his slave. So woman up and fight for your liberty. Stop crying. I mean, you cannot possibly allow a man that intimidates you go scot-free. No, you can't do that. Yes, and I don't think he will come back. Not with that scar on his head. He's unrepentant. He would definitely come back. Hi, baby. I'm fine, baby. How are you? I'm good. Mama, you're holding me, it's holding me! Sorry, 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 Don't worry, let me press you hot water. Huh? Oh? Okay. Please, 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 so that you regain your strength. I promise you, you'll be fine. Mama, these people dealt with me. Sorry. They were very mean. Sorry. Don't worry, the pain will subside. Oh? Oh, do it gently, gently. I will, I will. I will. After now, you go and rest. Oh, you know, you're raising the hand. You're raising it gently, gently. Oh. Sonia, you want to understand? You can't even begin to imagine what I went through in Dave's hand. I mean, his presence gives me adrenaline rush. It's that bad. I understand. But choosing the life of prostitution is not good. What happened to the decency I know you for? If all your advice is for me to go back to Dave, then I'm sorry. I will not take it.
still dealt with me. I had... I had miscarriages. Because of... Because of the beatings he gave to me. I even lost a six-month-old pregnancy because of Dave. And you expect me to go back to him? That man is a sadist. He deprived me of everything. It's all right. Hmm? I understand. It's more noble to be in a defined relationship than to indulge yourself in sex trade. It's no good. Remember, I've been in that game before. It didn't help me. I'm not going to be in this game for long. I just... I just want to enjoy myself a little. To live a little. I want to have a fair share of life's treats. That's all. I know. Emily. You're more like a sister to me. And I will always tell you the truth. There is no gain in prostitution. Emily, I am sorry. From the bottom of my heart, I am very, very Sorry. Do not forget in a hurry that you're my best bite. My sunshine. I know I've caused you pain. I know I haven't been the best husband that I ought to have been to you. I know I deserve and undeserved forgiveness from you because of what I have cost you. I am not even worthy to be before your sight. But please. Kneeling before you is a man who has repented of his deeds against you. I begrudge every ill treatment I melted on you as my wife. Please, find a place in your heart to come back home. Many seasons has come and gone, but your absence is so strong in my home. Please, I beg of you, forgive me and return back home, please. I'm mm. begging you. Please, we are so sorry. We are really so sorry. Forgive my son and I. We regret everything that has happened. Because and we promise that it will never, ever happen again. Never. Across my heart, I promise that everything that I did wrong to you will be fixed. Just come back home. Baby, please, come back home to me. Please, I beg of you. I loved you. All I ever did was respect and give you the honor 
that you truly deserved. I already forgive you. My mind is clear, my heart is pure. I bear no grudges against you. Thank you. Thank you. I said thank you for forgiving me. Thank Don't you. <sighs> but we can never be together again. You can say that. Please, 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 Emily. Can you? Dave, you have refused to eat. Drink water. Or even take your bath. Dave, you, you, you stink so badly. I know that I stink, Mom. I know that I stink. All I need back is a million, Mom. All I need is back. I want a million back to my life. My life is empty without a million. Mom, please, can you please help me and beg Emilia and tell her that I said I'm sorry for every wrong that I did to her across my heart. Just tell her that I said I'm sorry. Let her come back and not leave me. Please, I beg you, please tell her that I'm sorry. I know I've offended her so many ways, but she should forgive me and come back. Oh. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> If you were to be Emily, would you accept a man like you back into your life? Answer me. Mom, this, this is not time for judgment. I just want you to please help me beg her. Tell her that I said I'm sorry for everything I have done to her. I know she would listen if you talk to her. I doubt. I doubt if she will agree to accept you back into her life. Because of your malicious maltreatment, she has lost three pregnancies, added to her ugly moments. This. <laughs> Fine. I will try talking to her again. I will go to her tomorrow. But, but you have to man up yourself. Stop behaving like a child. You don't understand my life. My whole life. She's my whole life. She's my whole life.
I know that Dave will never rest until he speaks to me on the phone. But the truth is that I will never take his call. In fact, let me switch off my phone before he drains my battery. Heartless man. Sonia, are you okay? I should be asking you. What are you doing here at this time of the night? Uh, never mind. But you look worried. Is everything alright? Jimmy, it's about my love life. I'm having double mind. I've started noticing some awkward behavior from my man. Sorry, I can't help you. I thought you wanted to talk about something else. Is it, I don't involve myself in anything love, like any love discussion or love, any entanglement. I don't want to get myself involved in it at all. You know my story. You know what I went through in the hands of Dave. You know my ordeal already. So, please. Good night. Tell me this is what you've been indulging yourself into. When your mother and I thought you were in school. Well, it's Chief, your father. What? Yes. Hmm? Why? Why have you decided to be a disappointment to your mother and I? When we're doing all to make sure we don't lack anything. Unfortunately, Dad, I don't feel sorry for anything. What do you expect from me? Those are the father sleeps around with different women. You and mom failed me as parents, yes. So please. Swear. Swear to me, Jay, that you've not touched my daughter. No, no, no. Is, is it like that? We have had sex countless times. I didn't have to abort my baby just to save your face. Chief, your reactions towards this is not welcoming. You've been enjoying other people's daughters. Definitely, your daughter must be enjoyed by someone else. Of course, Chief. What goes around comes back around. Will you shut up your mouth? Shut it up before I shut that miserable thing up for you. So you have decided in spoiling my own daughter? Nobody spoils me, Dad. I beg them to be their friend, yes! Please, let me be. Jay, Chief. after all I have done for you, you have the mind to sleep with my daughter. Chief, I never knew she, she is a daughter. I never knew. Must you sleep with every lady you see? Must you? Chief, that makes us even. You sleep with every girl that comes to you. I supply ladies to you. What makes your daughter different? I'm pregnant for you, Chief. 
Oh. Come, leave me. Are you, are you, are you okay? What's wrong with Some sort of about this. I tried to stop her, but you know, Sonia, she wouldn't listen. She's so stubborn. I can't give a fuck. Do I care? Damn that shit, okay? Hey, sweetheart. <sighs> Come on. Don't give me that look, okay? I mean, if you're worried about what just happened, it means you're worried about my past. She is my ex. And you're the president, okay? That makes you special. Hmm? Babe. Yes. You mean your ex comes into your house unannounced? That's exactly what you just saw. She's so stubborn, so irritating. Unlike you, you know? Don't be bothered about that, okay? You should feel special because you are the one in my life right now. I, I, can't, I can't even compromise your, your presence in this house. As a matter of fact, this house, this old house you're saying, Belongs to you, the first lady, her excellency. <laughs> Life has not been easy with death since you left. He has come to realize the vacancy you occupied in his life. I mean, death, your husband. I don't want to be associated with the name Dave in my life again. He's not my husband. Honestly, I'm in short of words. Emily, I know you are penned. I, I know that you are greatly hurt. I understand the moment. But please, I'm pleading. Have everything. Be good. You know what? You are wicked and selfish. Why exactly should I have everything? Huh? No, tell me. You know, you are the reason I'm refusing to go back to Dave. What? You heard me right. I'm saying this to your face. I mean, I'm not afraid to say it to your face. You're the reason Dave maltreated me. No, 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 no. Th that's not true. It's not true. Oh, relax. Relax. There's no alarm for self-defense here. You know, you should be apologetic about yourself, not about your son, Dave. Do you know what you did to me? Do you know? Please. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Stand up, please. I don't like this. Just stand up, please. You can me. Truly, I wronged you. You are right. If you condemn me, you are right. I wronged you. But please. There wouldn't have been any forgiveness if there was no sin. Please forgive me and forgive Dave, my son. I acknowledge and I accept my wrongs. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Can you sit down? Please, I want you to come back so that we can live as one happy family again. Because, you know, because... Please, get up and sit down, please. I mean, I don't want people to come back and, and see us be like this. Just sit, Can you sit, please? Just sit down, please. I forgave you long ago, but I will never accept you people back into my life. Excuse me.
I wonder how God created men that they are so emotionless. The best description for selfishness is the male gender. Yes. I've never and I've not done anything wrong to Roland to deserve this. But if he choose to dump me just like that, I promise I would dump him six feet. He will regret ever dumping me. Babe, it's okay. It's okay. It's not worth your tears. It's okay. It's fine. You know what? Why don't you dress up so we can all hang out, you know? So you can come off this bad mood. It's not good for you. I don't want to go out. What am I going out for? What am I leaving for? Don't talk like <laughs> that. It's okay. Stop, stop this. It's okay. <laughs> Please forgive me. Please forgive my dear wife. I know I have failed in delivering my responsibilities. I also failed as a husband and a father in my home. Please, Kate, forgive me, please. Please forgive me. Are you okay? Get his pregnant. What have I done to myself? I've succeeded in spoiling my own home. What's this? What is this? You wouldn't dare. I repeat, Empress. You will not try it. Listen, don't take my silence for cowardice. You can't treat me like a slave simply because I am humble and submissive. I am not your slave. I would do it. Again and again. And you're not going to do anything, will you? You will not believe what I will do to you, you bloody gold digger. How dare you stop it! Do not dare call me names again. I will take everything from you. But I'm not calling me names. Don't try it. And what's the meaning of this? What exactly is going on here? Every night is one shout or the other. Can't we have peace in this house? What is the matter? What's happening? This lunatic doesn't seize every opportunity to snatch the men I want to have fun with away from me. And she did it again today. You know, when an anthill magnifies itself to be a mountain, the anthill loses attention. In other words, my darling, this said man was attracted to me first and not you, the auntie. So deal with it, bitch. What exactly is going on here? I don't, I don't get it. 
happening babes in town ndine tieti ndine meme always on the move happening babes in town ndine tieti ndine meme always on the move happening babes in town ndine tieti ndine meme always on the move This one na jabarata, babu pa baby aku. For beauty them day, for sexy them day. Anyhow you want them, them got sent to you. When that guy drove in, I told you my advances on him. And what did you do? You went behind me and snatched him away. <laughs> Is that why you're acting irrational? Can you hear yourself? When the guy drove in, I told you my adv Excuse you? Who do you think you are? Why are you acting all bossy? As if you're bigger and better than all of us. Hello? Hello? Come down from your high horse. Drop your egocentric character. We are all the same. Okay? You're not better than any of us. No. Enough. No, it's not enough. Uh, what exactly? What exactly is going on between you and Empress? Because it's getting too much. Yes, I will explain to you. I will explain to you. This girl right here does not like me. From day one, from the first day I joined this group, she has grew this, this bitterness and hatred towards me. Actually, join this so that I can get a life. I can enjoy. I can be happy for once. But she's making it worse. What have I done to you? You know my pains, but you seize every opportunity to use it against me. She divulges my secret to any man, every man that comes to me. Is that right? You know what? I quit. I am done with this. Sonia, it's all your fault. I blame you for everything. All that we have worked for over the years just crumbled. Everything just went down the drain. All because of some love I don't know about. How did it go? How did it go? You should be seeking for a way forward. What you are doing now is absolutely not necessary. See, I have tried my possible best. I tried talking to Emily, using my words carefully. Yes, but she's so vehement in her decision. She refused to give me listening ear. I have this great doubt. If Emily will ever consider coming to this house again as a wife. Oh. Well, I've come to realize that you're part of my problems. Imagine what you said after everything you said here. And that means you're part of my problems. After all I have done? Yes, of course, because you're meant to be supporting me as a son. You're supposed to be fighting with me to help me get out of this emotional mess that I've gotten myself into and not to speak the other way around. 
You keep being pessimistic. You have never been optimistic in anything you do. Look at it. The one you went for right now. How did it come? It's all pro abortive. It's obvious. Yes. A sane human can quickly dictate the possible outcome of a particular incident. You surprised me, Dave. Oh, yes. Where is the man in you? Where is that aggressive and that child man in you? You behaved and placed yourself so high that I thought that nothing will ever affect you negatively. Here you are. You have ruined your love life because I don't see Emily coming back to you again. Mom, please, please, please. I am just trying so hard to keep to myself and stop talking to me as if I'm suffering from catafrizophrenia. Stop talking to me as if I am having catafrizophrenia. Please! I'm already dealing with so much emotional energy and I don't want to start dealing with yours. I beg you. Then you should let her go. That's impossible. No, you have to. Just let her go. Because that is what you have always wanted. You know, I think it's time we stop gallivanting with men of different age. What is that supposed to mean? It's obvious we won't end well. Yes. I realize you're speaking in parables and I can't remember you being Deputy Jesus. Don't forget what happened to Mira. And I am not Mira. Don't even go there. Huh. If you must know, Jay defrauded Chief and he has left town. Chief is now bankrupt. I believe by now he must have gone back to his dilapidated home in the village. Oh, that was really bad for them. That's not all. Jay had a car accident. Jay is dead. Jay is no more. Arela, you're trying so hard to infuse fear into me, but it won't work. Betty, you need to have a careful thought about this whole thing. Okay? Don't say I did not warn you. Don't say I didn't tell you about this whole thing. It's time we stop this prostitution and face our future. It's high time. Don't say I didn't tell you. Happening babes in town. Ndine tieti, ndine meme, always on the move. Happening babes in town. Ndine tieti, ndine meme, always on the move. What a life. Was I born into this world just to have a taste of bitterness? What has life offered me other than pain? Lola should not make a mess of my life. If there is anything I have done is to love him, I have totally reciprocated the love he had for me. Lola shouldn't mess my life. Loving him back is never a crime. Tony, what are you doing here? You're pissing me around me and I don't like it. What's all this? What are you doing in my house? Where is Roland? I'm here to see him. And who are you referring that question to? Do I look like his keeper that watches over him? Or does this place look like his house? Stop. You are his friend and you should know where he is. First, Sonia, you came to my house unrecognized. I let you go because I know you lacked home training. Excuse me, are you trying to insult me in any way? Not at all, no insult here. And now you are asking me the whereabouts of a full grown man. 
So that what do you expect me to tell you? Keep saying, um, I have done everything in my power to make this relationship work. And you know, I, I love Roland so, so much. I love him and I know what I've given up just to be with him. Why is he treating me like this? What have I done? Did I do anything wrong? Why is he treating me like this? Do you all the time? I caught him in an uncompromising position, making out with another girl. I left because I felt he was going to come for me. But he never did. Why? Why is Roland treating me like this? Do I deserve this? Why are you hurting yourself thinking that you're being hurt by a man? I don't get it. You know, there's a great watchword in life. That is, move on. It's very obvious to you, but yet he keeps pushing further. He stopped texting you, calling you, or even want to see you. That should clearly state to you that he doesn't want to be with you anymore. But no, you wouldn't want to move. Come on, move on, Sonia. Move on. You know, it is elemental for one to be happy as far as life is concerned. Move on, Sonia. And forget about my friend, Roland. I can't. I can't forget about Roland. I love him. Deal with it. What are you saying? Hey, Gibson. Hi, Betty. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. You're welcome. So, what do you want to say? I am here to see Roland. Is he in? Oh, well, um, Roland is not in at the moment. But um, you can go in and wait for him. I believe he will be here shortly. All right. Thank you. You have a great day ahead. You too. Have fun. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. What are you saying? Are you saying that you should go in and wait for my own boyfriend? Sonia, the lady you just saw go in there. That's Roland's new choice. When Nanjian brand is in vogue, Japanese don't deal or come closer. Please excuse me. This is so painful This is so hurtful The love I thought I've got Has turned to be a trace My world is crumbled This is so a very special place in my heart. I am back for good. I am sorry for everything. I am deeply sorry. And I can never forget the reason I love you so dearly. Thank you. Thank you for coming back. I'll make your dreams come true. <laughs> I can stop loving you. Thank you for coming back to me. My life has been so empty without you. Thank you. Hey. 
Dave, what is it? What are you doing? I, I was having some kind of vision. Like Emily was here and I felt her. I was able to clutch her hands. It felt so real. Hey. Dave, please. You need to calm down. That is not reality at all. Because Emily is not here. See, your hallucination is as a result of your emotions. I have told you for the umpteen time to let her go so that you can free yourself from this emotional stress. Dave, you hardly sleep. There is no way you would expect me to allow a lady to go. Mom, that woman is the only woman that could endure me. My life is so empty without that woman and there is no way I would let another man take care of that woman. It's okay. It's okay, Dave. All hope is not lost. There is miracle. All you need to do now is to go in there and rest. Go and sleep. Please. I don't know where you are. And I know you can hear me. Please, I beg you, come back home. Come. <laughs> listen, listen. Good men are rare, okay? Men are generally fickle minded and wicked. They're not worth your tears. Please, stop crying. <laughs> we have warned you. We have placed this very picture of misfortune before you. But you wouldn't listen. Now look at you. Love has actually blinded you. Wait me. Wait me. <laughs> Why did I see all the deceptive moves? Why, why me? Don't blame yourself, okay? Don't blame yourself. Men are like that. It's okay. I don't even know what to say. I'm confused. You're confused? No, you can't be confused. I mean, what else do you want her to do? She has to move on, move on with your life. I swear, I swear, I will kill that little prostitute. I will kill her and bury her. I will make sure I frustrate Roland. Any woman I see around him will suffer. He will pay for it. I swear, I will tell him my name is Sonia. <laughs> Sonia. <laughs> Sonia. <laughs> Sonia, please. Sonia, you're going to hurt yourself. I will support Sonia in whatever move she makes. You're not serious, are you? I am. Do you know what it means to be hurt by someone you've set aside so much for? Do you know what it means to be deceived? I can't behave like a clown because I am not. Sonia can go beyond extreme and do something crazy. I mean, what are you talking about? You're acting like you don't know Sonia. 
What I'm saying is that we should do as much as possible to control her aggression and forehead any impending danger in her life. Can Sonia be that dangerous? Sonia is a tough woman. Whatever she can have, she destroys. All we need to do right now is to keep a close watch on her so she doesn't make an irreparable mistake. Mm -mm. No. No. Whatever it is, she needs to let go. Yes. I understand you very well, but a ruler needs to be taught a lesson. It is not everybody he can tell with your heart. Sonia is going through a lot emotionally, physically, in every aspect. She's not thinking straight right now. Please allow her do her wish, and I support her. What's wrong with you? Are you listening to yourself? Why are you being so insensitive? You know Sonia very well. She can be deadly and vindictive. The last time I checked, I am not the one with a broken heart. And I'm not here to avenge anything. And you are having the discussion with the wrong person. Look, Zainada. We have to talk to Sonia. And she will have to listen to us. I mean, I'm having this bad feeling that something wants to go wrong. You and I know her very well. How she killed Benjamin, who tried to rape her instantly. How she poisoned Belinda for a little lie that could be waved out. And how she stabbed and paralyzed Jack for the money that he stole from her. Zena, you and I know Sonia so well. We need to talk to her. Please. Well, it's your call. You can talk to her if you wish. We need to talk to her. Yes. Zena! 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 What is going on with my life? Am I actually ruling with the right people? How can someone take another person's life for the sake of love? What kind of obsession is that?
And what happened? So what's next? She won't survive the bullet wound. She will die eventually. We have gotten just measure for the ill treatment women give to men. The first thing tomorrow morning. We'll get Betty's body and give her a befitting burial. Whatever happens, we must leave this town as soon as possible. Yeah. We'll have to sell our property at Big Rig Estate. And thereafter, we will locate out of town till everything has come. I think that's a wise say. Justice for Betty. Justice for Betty. She's dead. What happened to her? Betty! She, she was shot dead. By who? Betty, wake up! I don't know. Betty, wake up! Wake up! I have, I have the picture. Oh. This is Sonia's car. You know them? Yes, I do. Please help me. Help me wake up. Betty, wake up! She's dead. Wake up! She's, she's dead. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sonia, you will pay for this. I promise you. Let's wake up, wake up. J, help me wake up, please. Wake up, Betty. Come Betty, on. wake up. Betty, please wake up. Just do something, Jay. Just stop. Just, 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 just do something. Just hold yourself. Hold yourself. Come on, hold yourself, please. Sonia, it wasn't my intention for things to turn out this way. You were supposed to be my woman, but you played me for the fool. I loved you at first sight, but you turned me into your plaything. Now I know that. The meeting point of every relationship matters no matter what. I think I should plan my life towards getting married and settling down. Youthfulness is full of unforeseen situations that determines old age. Thank you. 
Uh, you bastard! Tell me why I shouldn't bust your brain. You bastard! Z uh, uh, Zina, calm down. What is it? Sonia killed my sister. What? Sorry. Who is your sister? Betty is my sister. You killed her because you found that she had something to do with Roland. Um, did, did you kill someone? Did you or did you not? Um, Zina, Zina, just calm down, okay? Calm down. Sonia. Yes. Sorry. Just calm down, please. Yes. Calm down, calm down. Hold it. You're under arrest. Can I please talk to you for the very last time? Please, I beg you. Let me call you back. What is it again? Why are you pestering my life? Why are you following me around like a faithful bloodhound? What have I done to you? Uh, my daughter, please. Hear us out. Just this once and for all, please. Pick up. Um, I, I just want you to know that everything I did to you was as a result of mental challenge. I, I was not myself. I, I was able to see a doctor, a therapist, who later diagnosed me of bipolar. They said I had a mental disorder, which also contributed to the way I treated you. I am so sorry. Please, find a place in your heart to forgive me. Please. How do I forgive you? Where do I start to forgive you? Dave. I loved and respected you. I practically worshipped you. What, what did you do? You subjected me to suffering. You trampled on my dignity. How, how do you expect me to forgive you? Where do I start to forgive you? See, see my daughter, it was not natural. It, see, like he told you, he was mentally affected. He even threatened my own life. He, he wanted to beat me. It was that bad. It was that bad. Thanks to the therapist that handled my case, who agonized me of gynophobia and gametophobia. I mean, all of this contributed to the way I was, I was treating you in the past. But right now, as I'm talking to you, I have already gone through the reformatory process and it changed my... All of the things you used to know about me in the past is all gone. Please, I beg you. Just find a place in your heart to forgive me, please. Emily, please come back home. I am a changed man, please. I was only suffering from mental disorder. Please, please ask my mom. Please, please. Nancy, you know, you know why you loved my son in the first place. Please, mommy, give him another chance. I'm begging you, please. Hey, Chufu, thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you.
Trust.